Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario 64 with my feet. In the last episode we got the Vanish Cap and we started up on Shifting Sandland. And in this episode obviously we will be finishing up Shifting Sandland. Now I don't think we're going to get the 100 coins first, I need a bit of a warm up. We need to get to the top of the pyramid and I... I'm torn because I don't know if I should go for... You know, the way we tried to do it in the last episode, where we obviously see which one I've chosen. Um, I don't know if we should open up the top of the pyramid or just try and go up to the top of the pyramid normally. Because they both have, you know, harder and easier parts to them. I think I'm going to try and jump from the top, though, because we might as well if we fall down. I mean, we're basically back to where we would be if we hadn't done that and we missed a spot here another difficulty guess I'm just gonna have to go back there I think we missed this one if I'm gonna be honest no it would appear that was not the one we missed okay in that case let's go back through because we gotta oh you can't touch that wait hold on what huh okay I didn't I wasn't aware that that would have been a death Hold on, has it always been that way, or did I just, like, bump into, like, a weird angled thing? Interesting. Okay, well, I'm gonna hit these spires again. There we go. Okay, that's better. So I'm probably not going to make this jump and all... You know what? Forget it. Let's just actually, actually climb the pyramid. I bet... On this channel, have we ever actually climbed this pyramid? Also, uh-oh, we're in danger territory. Here. Nah, that's why we're in danger territory. All right, you know what? We'll just fly into it. Jeez. Apparently, that's a lot more precise than I thought it was going to be getting in there. It is a tiny hole. It's, uh, you know. We can all relate. All right, let's get in there. Probably should have grabbed that one up, given the nature of the inside here. That sand sound is just the most weird thing. You never hear that in many places in this game. So like, what's the path you're actually supposed to take upwards? Cause I really don't know. Normally you would just wall jump up that, but I don't really trust that. Well here, there's the path we're gonna take up. Come on back down. I like how Mario just keeps standing like, yeah, cool. There we go. That should give us a good path, because it's over here, right? Yeah. Like I was saying, you normally don't make your way up the pyramid, normally, ever, if you know your way around it, but... Knowing your way around it requires being good at the game, so we can't do this. Oh, jeez, this is gonna give me a, a foot cramp, a framp, if you will. Completely normal terminology there. So how's everyone's day going? Once again, in the actual game, you like never have to climb around on these things because it's so darn slow. And luckily they they didn't use it much. Oh, you know what? Another place you have to use it. Don't you have to use it in the first Bowser area of uh, Star Road? Speaking of which, God, Star World has been in the making for a while now. Oh, that's this spot. Okay. I couldn't get the camera in a good spot for that. Cool. Cool, good, so good so far. It's not actually that difficult to uh, make your way up here, is it? It's mostly just, you know, a long path. This is one of those parts of the game that doesn't feel like actual Mario 64 to me because as a kid, you know, I played this game a lot as a kid. I got probably 50 stars at most at any point. And there's just some points that don't feel like the regular game because I never saw them as a kid. And this inside of this pyramid is surprisingly one of them, even though you'd think, oh, it's kind of, you know, it's kind of obvious. It's the main piece of the entire stage, and there's a big, huge hole going right into it, but never found it. Um, same goes for the igloo and snowman's land. Um, and pretty much anything after that is normal just because there's stages I've never been to, but like, you know, it's especially weird when it's a. Yeah. Yeah, cool! Alright, we're back at the top. You know what? Now I think about it. Had this star been in, like, a ROM hack, 
I probably would have criticized it for being way too long. Like, the amount of effort to get this star, compared to most others, stay away from him until he turns. There we go. Now we run! The effort to get this star is so far beyond any other star in this entire world, so it's just like, you know, having to climb all the way up to the top. Though now I say that, getting the 100 coins of this stage is gonna be horrible. Oh my god, I have to do that. Alright, well, uh, no putting it off, let's get to it. You know what? Nah. Not now. <laughs> Maybe when I have a few hours on my hands to do whatever I want, sure. I'll go back and do that. And I know we're still missing the five secret spots, but that's what I want to get along with the 100 coins, so... You know, there you have it. Let's move on to Big Boo's Haunt. Oh my god. Oh, I'm gonna be dreading that for the rest of my life. That was terrible. Cause like, uh, just the skill ceiling you need, the skill you need to get like almost every single coin in that level is absolutely dastardly. Holy moly, let's get these booze. <laughs> let's do something easy for once. Good lord, not for once, a lot of things are easy in this, but you know what I mean. Yeesh, Big Boo's Haunt is going to be a walk in the park. Gotta say, I'm definitely looking forward to that. The 100 coins aren't even going to be really much of a problem. Just have to wait for booze to come up to me and ground pound them for 20 coins each. One million coins each, practically. Yeesh though, dude. Ugh. I didn't think, I don't know. I don't know why I didn't think. That's just my default state, I guess. No, please. Now this is going to be the problem. I have to get in a position where the boo will attack me, and then real quickly, quickly enough to get my foot under it, to uh, attack them before they hit me, or before they pass me up, or I look at them or something. Nope, <laughs> that's not happening. No thanks. Shouldn't even be that many left, should there? There's like one in here, right? Maybe if I look away, it'll like mume on over. Maybe not. Yeah, it's kind of stuck there, isn't it? Ooh, this sucks. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. All right. Uh, in that case, shall we just do the carnival thing? The uh, the the round. They call it a merry-go-round here, don't they? Wow, I just realized how much this is gonna suck too. There's always there's always like some weird caveat to every single star, isn't there? Like, even though there's, like, no real danger of dying here? They don't appear here yet, do they? I don't think they spawn. Well, yeesh. That's another, uh, the egg is on my face moment, huh? Yeesh, man. Oh, jeez, once again, it's been a while since I played this. There's no boos on the outside, are there? Like, the only boo we really have left to worry about is the one that just knocked us down? I think that is the case. But, like, uh... Uh, yeah, yeah, you know what, at this point, like, every stage we're going to go through has something about it, doesn't it? Very precisely crafted. Like, even in this stage, even though there's no pits and very few enemies, the enemies that do exist to give you five coins, like, you, you gotta have your ground pounds on point, buddy. Okay. Got him. Hoof, that's the last one, right? No. No? Hold on, is there one at the end of this room? Yeah, okay, that's what I was missing. Please don't think I'm looking at you. Oh, yeesh. Okay, there we go. Boom, here comes the Master of Mischief. The tower... Let's go! I have to make my way through this room again. Not a fan of this room, even when I'm playing with my hands. There's always a primal fear it sparks in me. And that is the fear of having to waste 20 seconds of my life doing something. All right, come at me, bo big boy. Big boosty boy. Oh, gotta love- why does he have that noise? Like, you think they would've just- of all things, they would've toned down the, uh, ghost noise, but no, they gave it a womp and thwomp noise. They make the same noise, right? I'm fairly certain they do. No, let me up. Thank you. Cool. 
The rest of the stars here probably aren't even going to be as bad as that one, to be honest. Because what do we got? We have... The 100 coins might be a little bit of a problem. No, not even. Because all we really have to do are get the booze again. It really is simple. All right, let's do the merry-go-round, I guess, this time. I think that's the next one, isn't it? Maybe not. Yep. Ride Big Boo's merry-go-round. Cool. We'll go ahead and straight for that for again. I didn't realize it. They put Big Boo in this stage three times, didn't they? Very awkward. They don't do that with any other boss. So it's just, you know, a little out of place once you think about it. That area up where the Big Boo balcony is, is another one of those areas I was talking about in the last episode where I'm like, or did I talk about that in this episode? I think I talked about that in the last episode, right? I don't know. <laughs> I'm dumb, but uh, Big Boo's balcony is another one that was like, ooh, that's unnatural because I never found it as a kid. Uh oh. There we go. There we go. We're good. Just let them walk up behind us. As long as they don't get in front of us to, like, get spooked by us. Here, let's walk right back over. Actually, you know what? This is easier because it does the walking for us. Easier than normal booze. This one's going to be a pain in the butt once he starts moving. Well, actually, hmm. I wonder how his speed compares to that of the merry-go-round. Oh, please turn around. Thank you. Is that the same exact model they have in Mario Party? I think it is. Never thought about it. You just don't see them much in Mario Party. Mario Party 1's like the only one. I know my control is a little out of sync here. There we go. Out of camera there, but... I needed the accuracy. I'm sorry. Sorry about it. Cool. Yeah, Big Boo's Haunt might be that nice break area we needed. Not that Hazy Maze Cave was hard, really. It's just, it's like some of the 100 coins missions in this game. It's kind of like, I almost wish the game didn't have them. I understand why they're, why they're nice for like a first timer, but you when you know that a 100 coin mission is going to take a long time, it's like nothing else is kind of like up to that kind of annoyment, you know? I'm not sure if I make that, make that like, make sense. I wonder if I'm going to be able to do this. Hold on. Hold on. I got this. Don't worry about it. Ooh, we got this. Oh, please. I don't know why I'm doing that. I don't have to. I have the stairs right here. I'm dumb. Hold on. I know what I want to do. I wonder if I can just forego the library like I normally would. Because this is a very precise set of button presses to do like so as you can see I'm gonna try and do it I feel like doing it might be shorter than anything we could do in the library you know what maybe that's not true it's just that since I've never done this library star like legitly legitimately legitly I say I haven't done this like correctly since ugh, 10 years 15 years old maybe okay what is it I think this one's first, right? No. Okay. Nope. Okay. It's got to be the bottom one. Yeah. They wouldn't put them in order from top to bottom. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. First time you're first and only time you're ever going to see me do that mission normally probably. Bong. Cool. I think that'll do it. I'm not sure how long this video is because I literally cut out all of the 100 coins of uh, Shifting Sandland. Not that we got the star or anything, but uh, yeah, I'll see you all in the next episode when we finish up Big Boo's Haunt. And I don't know how long I'm going to put off Shifting Sandland 100 stars. This is like the first time I'm doing that with any star. That reminds me, we actually have to go back to Jolly Roger Bay as well now that we have the metal cap. Anyway, that's all for another episode. See you all then and goodbye.